Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome <laughs> to Inside the Booth. There, now you can see our beautiful You just had faces. to have that, didn't you? I did, I did. <laughs> At least for the first part. Right. Um, so, yeah, welcome, everybody. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button to get notified for upcoming videos. And vanquish that like button. Also, share, share, share. We like it when you guys share. That's we sure. do because sharing is caring here on YouTube and Twitter yeah, and Instagram and Facebook, where you can find That's us cool. on every platform. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and on Patreon. Oh yes. So don't forget, everybody. Gift is gift your gifts, giftedizing, giftedizing, giftedizing. Become a Patreon member um, for a dollar a month. Uh, so we can also bring content to you guys. Also, <laughs> bring better yeah. content. Upgrade. Bring, uh, Get all those yeah. fancy intros that all the cool YouTubers use. Have no That's idea right. what we would do just yet. Whatever we do, it's going to be fancy. That's right. I guarantee and don't you. forget, <laughs> if you're not a Patreon member, now is the time to be watching. Because then, after we're done... It, this, this, what is this? The show. So after this show, everybody from now on, edited. <laughs> Rumble reviews, inner reviews, they're going to be cut in half or somehow minimized. So that way, if you didn't catch the live show, you definitely will be missing out unless you are a Patreon member. So if you catch the live, you get it all. But if you're not here for the live, I'm sorry for you. Just kind of say. That's right. What she said. That's what I said. All right, so everybody, we have a special <laughs> guest with us today, and you guys are he going is to love in the love comments. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, we'll bring him on right now, actually. Welcome, our guest, Drunk 3 so This man on YouTube, despite what he looks like right now. But he's cold, so we'll give him an Freaking answer. cold, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for yeah. inviting me on. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. Uh, you actually look like something that I would be looking like when I'm outside uh, shoveling the snow. You know, I made a huge sacrifice to come on the show in the freezing cold here in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and he makes and wise cold, cracks. Cold, 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 forty. A teeth are chattering here, man. Yeah, no, I, I, I actually understand. The, <laughs> the, let, let me tell you what the difference between the cold in Florida to here is the is the um, the moisture in the air. Did you so just say feels, moist? Come on, moisture. man. What are you saying, man? Moisture. What's up with that? This this language here. I thought this was a clean show. <laughs> it is a clean show. <laughs> moist, cold. <laughs> And like that that's the thing i love it because when you when you surround yourself with people that constantly encourage you and support you and take time out of their day just to make sure everything's good and 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 just uh lift you up above them you know it's it, you build this unique friendship uh you have like friends you have acquaintances you know that mm -hmm. it's like they're always there for me so seeing them win is a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. So it's like, I love seeing, I love seeing my friends win because it gets me excited. And uh, because then they're right there going, you're next, buddy. You're next. Yeah. So it's, it's just, it's so, it's so cool. So it's so cool. I guess the uh, first question would be, what got you into doing YouTube in the first place? Um, like what started <laughs> it? What started it? What started all the basics? What's the origin uh, the story of Drunk All right, so yeah. it's uh it's kind of interesting because I was for years and I and the people that are in the chat will probably leave now because they've heard this a million times. So, but it's uh um just uh being like I don't know what you call it. Human people say humanitarian, but just like traveling a lot and uh being around the world a few times. It was there was a point uh it was so I was in Cambodia mm -hmm. and I don't know what it was that uh something about that trip that really <laughs> i mean i nothing to hide but it just it just messed me up mentally 
And I think it was just years of not set, like just years of constant moving around and seeing poverty and seeing all this stuff. It, it's something about being there that just, it, I just came back to America and it was, I was like, I know I was in a bad spot. So I started to see a counselor. I saw a counselor for two years and I was diagnosed with this weird uh, thing. Like, uh, was, they, I wasn't a missionary, but it, they called it missionary stress syndrome, something like that. Oh, I think um, so it, you know, and so I became, I got a job here. I, I was in Miami, I moved to Orlando took a job as a teacher and um, I needed like an outlet. Like I needed something to do. Like free PO. I think I've heard, I've watched one of your videos and I don't remember your explanation. Um, all my friends couldn't, we thought after The Last Jedi, we thought that Star Wars was backwards. So we started making up stupid names. I like, like what would make Star Wars backwards? Well, a drunk C three PO. Okay. Would be it's backward. It's like that's not his character, because mm -hmm. that's what we saw. That's what my and that's just my opinion. I know people love the movies and that, I think that's wonderful. But you know, I we just saw. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Futurama, the robot on that one. Yeah. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But the problem is, like, it was just a silly name that You're I right. didn't think would. <laughs> I didn't think it would be something, you know, become I, a I, name. I, I would, yeah. Well, the truth yeah. is, if I thought like my YouTube career would be a, as big as I thought, it, I mean, it's not it's still in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty small. But um, if I thought it would be where it is now, I, I probably would have <laughs> not used that name. But <laughs> here we are. And but it's catchy. And, you know, it, it's kind that's of what like everyone a, says. Yeah. Like, it's fun. yeah because of the pandemic, they didn't shun me or not not intentionally shun, mm -hmm. but you know what I mean? Put up those precautions that kept us at distance. In fact, they were very welcoming and wanted to see me yeah. and I, I didn't want to take to that hear for families granted. families that do do that though. You know? so I was like, I'm going to take this opportunity. Oh, no. You're going to get me sick and I'm going to die because the media told me it would happen. Mm -hmm. And it's really sad yeah. that there's people like sad. that missing very out sad. for sure. Yeah. But I think when people see I don't know. I I hope for whatever it's worth to inspire others to take a step and mm -hmm. up, brother? live their dream. And, you know, sometimes even if it's family, you got to just I respect your decision. So I'm going to go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I respect your decision, but I'm going to go, you know, wherever. And I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to take a chance on this person. I'm going to take a chance on this. And you know what? Sometimes things don't work out. Sometimes you get rejected. Sometimes yeah. you just can't That's go. But it's like you just got to step out of the boat, man. Like you don't understand what living is unless you step out of the boat and take a few steps. I am single. I'm not sure why that's what relevant, but. <laughs> what is What's the, the best, best thing you have eaten during your travels? Yeah. Uh, in El Salvador, they make this food called, popu called popusa. I said that right, popusa. And it's like, uh, oh my gosh, they're like this big. And it's like a tamale and they put meat and cheese in it and stuff. And they're like 15 cents. And we would go when I would go to El Salvador, we'd find this little mom and pop shop and like, here's a $50 bill. And they'd be like, I'm like, we want to make them all like we want hundreds of those things. We just <laughs> <laughs> they were so good. Oh, they're so good. I could eat them all day and never stop. So I guess, Jay, what, what else do you talk about on your channel? Is it just nerdy, geeky stuff or more? You do more like newer stuff now, too? I mean, uh, I kind of already know, but you know, newer <laughs> stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I mean. By that. I'm tired. I thought this um, was a professional show. What kind of you question know, is that? that? Stuff that you do. And, we like to leave uh, it open you know. to interpretation, so that you can That's fill right. in so whatever you, you think we're talking um, about. Like on your own. No. Um, uh, yeah, like, pretty much. Like whatever. Like newer pop, pop, 
pop culture. The problem is, like, Gina Carano grew my channel from 9,000 to 50, like 40,000. So if I don't do a Gina Carano video at least once a week, people get upset. So pretty much the fan club president, the inside scooper, all that stuff. So, so like, so they expect it. Like, that's what gets a lot of the views and stuff. Um, 